Hi, I'm Joan Newcomb, and today's morning musings is anger, acceptance, and acceptability. I'm doing a series of daily morning musings, and I'm using posts from my blog, Adventures in Density and Effort, as inspiration. Now, I wrote these a while back, and the world has completely changed since then. So if I encounter anything that is out of date, I will give you the most recent information. At the end, I will summarize the topic based on what's going on in the world today. I also have some special offers, so stay tuned to the very end to see what they are. Anger, acceptance, and acceptability. Today I saw two different blog posts touching on anger and acceptance. One was aimed at Alzheimer's caregivers, and then the other was a spiritual post. There's too much written about not being angry or how destructive anger is. It just prevents people from experiencing the release and healing that anger can be. If you feel victimized, anger can empower you. If you feel trapped, anger can give you the energy to break free. Destruction isn't necessarily bad. Sometimes limitations need to be destroyed. Acceptance doesn't mean you like, approve, or agree with something. Years ago, I read a Dear Abby or Ann Landers column that talked about having a baby was like taking a trip to France. In preparation, you learn to speak French, you buy a beret, you study the maps of Paris, but then your baby is born with Down syndrome. It's like suddenly going to Holland. Dutch is totally different than French. You toss the beret, you slip on clogs. It's not the trip you've dreamed of, but you accept a different destination. You don't like it, but you love your baby just as much. Acceptability is full of shit. You have to repress your anger to be acceptable. You have to have perfect children to be acceptable. People do unacceptable things in order to be acceptable. Spiritual growth isn't acceptable. It isn't neat and clean and tidy. It's about breaking through patterns and limitations. It's about doing things differently. It's going to make acceptable people very uncomfortable. But truthfully, being acceptable is way more painful. It's just delivered with a perfectly white smile. This is a time where everything we identify with is breaking down. Aspects of ourselves are disintegrating before our eyes. Things we believed in, relied upon, assumed, and expected are evaporating. It doesn't look pretty. But as you break through into expanded awareness. As you step fully into your full light, it feels great. It may not happen quickly, but you know you're on the way there. There's nothing for you to do this week. Transformation happens anyway. Well, I think that's perfectly applicable with what's going on. I think a lot of people have been already through phases like this. We're not tolerating the intolerable anymore. We're finding that anger is a perfectly acceptable response to gaslighting, to people trying to restrict us and other people based on who they are, who they love, what they believe, what their gender is. So it's really helpful to know that the energy of anger is really one of transformation. It helps disintegrate the limitations and it helps you move to a better place. And where it doesn't work is if you're destroying other people's reality instead of healing your own. So I like it when I say there's nothing for you to do this week. Transformation happens anyway, because it does. And sometimes it's just enough for us to do our best to operate as consciousness and navigate moving forward with all that's coming at us. So give yourself a break, take a deep breath, and just keep moving forward. So if you like these videos, please click the like button and subscribe, and that way you're telling YouTube to spread this information far and wide and get it out to someone who really needs to see this. And if you'd like to have a free sample of one of my consciousness techniques, click on the link below to the Skybox technique. It'll give you an expanded perspective of what's going on in your life and in your world today. And if you want some manifestation techniques, manifesting money and miracles will teach you how to easily and effortlessly create amazing changes in your life. And if you want to know more, my website is joan dukemcom There you can learn about my individual sessions where I take a look at the essence of who you are and what's going Going on in your life today. And then I can answer any questions that you might have, whether it's about love, money, relationships. I can talk to dead people and it's all recorded just for you. And if you want to learn how to do this as consciousness for yourself, Manifesting Money and Miracles is a great preparation for my coaching program where I work with you one-on-one and give you specific consciousness techniques so that you can transform your life. So go to my website, joan-newcomb.com and I'll see you tomorrow in another Morning Musings.